Did you know that oceans have layers just like us? In this video lesson about the world's oceans, we're going to explore them. This is the second video lesson in a series of two inspired by World Ocean Day. So if you missed the first one, make sure you check that out as well. In the previous video lesson, we talked about some fun facts about the ocean and explored the impact that pollution and climate change has had on it. In this video lesson, we're going to be learning about what each layer of the ocean is called and what characteristics it has. We'll also be talking about how these different layers provide habitats for different kinds of animals. For this video lesson, you won't need much, just a piece of paper and a pen or pencil. If you like, you can download and use this animal profile template from the Twinkle website, although it is optional. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. Hit the pause button now if you'd like some time to get your materials together. But first of all, let's start off with a word search activity to exercise our vocabulary. Hit the pause button and see how many of these ocean themed words you can find. You can unpause the video when you're ready to see the answers. Good job, and here are the answers. Did you find all the words? Some of them are the names of the Earth's oceans, which we learned in the previous lesson. Speaking of which, I think it's about time for us to grab our imaginary scuba gear and dive into learning more about the different layers of the ocean. Sunlight shines on the ocean just like the land. However, the light and warmth from the sun doesn't reach the deeper layers of the ocean, which means it gets darker and colder the further down you go. The ocean has five layers. The sunlight zone, the twilight zone, the midnight zone, the lower midnight zone or the abyss, and the trenches. Each of these zones have different characteristics and sea life that lives in them. We're going to learn about them now. First is the sunlight zone. This zone reaches about 200 meters below the surface of the ocean. The sunlight zone, also called the epipelagic zone, is where most ocean organisms live because it receives the most sunlight. The temperature in this ocean layer is definitely the warmest at 12 to 20 degrees Celsius, and a scuba diver can reach a depth of about 40 to 50 meters. Different plants can live in here as they get sunlight to perform photosynthesis. Most types of fish and animals, including dolphins, turtles, rays, seals, etc., live in this zone. If we dive a little deeper, the twilight zone is between 200 and 1000 meters below the surface. This layer is also known as the mesopelagic zone, and very little sunlight reaches the zone. This zone is home to animals like whales, shrimp, swordfish, hatchetfish, and octopi. No plants grow in this zone because there isn't enough light to perform photosynthesis. You won't find any sponges living in these depths because although people often think that they're plants, they're actually non-moving animals. This zone is a little bit colder than the sunlight zone at 4 to 13 degrees Celsius because it's further away from the warmth of the sun. If you go a little bit deeper, we reach the midnight zone this is between 1,000 and 4,000 meters below the surface, and the temperature here is even colder at 4 degrees Celsius. This layer is also known as the buffopelagic zone, which is Greek for deep, and sunlight doesn't reach this layer, so it's very dark. 2,438 meters is the operating depth of an oil rig, and the Titanic was found at a depth of 3,800 meters. In this zone, you will find animals like larger whales, squid, and blobfish. The only light in this zone is produced by bioluminescent animals who produce their own light. For example, the anglerfish. Now we're diving into the abyss at the lower midnight zone. This zone is between 4,000 and 6,000 meters below the surface. The conditions in this zone are extremely dark and the temperatures are very cold. This zone is the largest environment on Earth and the deepest point of the Arctic Ocean is 5,450 meters below sea level. Some of the organisms that live in this zone are sea spiders, basket stars, medusas, and sea pigs. Now we're right at the bottom of the ocean in the trenches. The trenches are any ocean environment that is lower than 6,000 meters below the surface. And again, the temperature is freezing down there. This layer is named after the Greek underworld, Hades. It is absolutely pitch black. The deepest place on Earth is in the Mariana Trench. It was first explored by Jacques Picard and Don Walsh. Most animals living in this zone are unable to see and don't have eyes, such as rat tailfish and snailfish. Snailfish, or Laparidae, actually live deeper than any other fish, 
meaning they have a significantly smaller chance of getting eaten. Amphipods wait for scarce food to drop down. Decapods, which eat amphipods, also live in this layer. Now it's time for a sorting activity. Divide your page into five sections and label them with how deep each of the ocean layers go, like this. Our next task is to categorize the facts on the following slides into their correct layers of the ocean. First up, we've got to get the names right. Match the name of each ocean layer to the appropriate section. Hit the pause button until you're ready to move on. Good job, here are the answers. If you got any of them wrong, that's fine. Make some corrections now before we move on. Now, have a go at matching the description to each ocean layer. Again, hit the pause button until you're ready to move on. And here are the answers. How did you go? If you're struggling to remember and would like to see these facts again, you can rewind to this point in the video. Now that we have a good understanding about what each layer of the ocean is like and how conditions change the further down you go, it's time to learn about the different animals that live there. Here are five examples of animals that live in the ocean. Is there one that particularly sticks out to you and that you'd like to learn more about? Well, we're going to write an animal profile on that animal. Flip to a new page and have a go at answering these questions about your chosen animal. Hit the pause button until you're ready to move on. You might need to do some research on your favorite search engine to answer these questions. Did you enjoy learning about your chosen animal? Isn't it interesting how animals adapt to their environment? For example, animals living right at the bottom of the ocean in the trenches tend to not have eyes because they can't see because there's no light. And others that live below where the light is have ways of producing their own light so that they can hunt for food. It's also exciting to me that humans have explored less than 20% of the world's oceans, which means there is so much left to see. We have barely scraped the surface of what we can discover and learn from our oceans. I hope you enjoyed learning about the layers of the ocean with me. Your final task is to share the animal profile you made with someone and have fun talking about the fun facts you've learned about the ocean layers. Also, if you haven't already done so, make sure you check out the first video on this series so you don't miss out. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.